everybody wants to get fit, lose weight, or get lean, but nobody wants to track their calories. And honestly, I don't blame them. Every time that I see your face, it always makes me smile. Today, I'm gonna teach all of you fishes how to get into a deficit without tracking your calories. Listen up, because this is something you can implement to live a healthier life, whether you lift or not. First, what do I mean when I say a deficit? Well, I mean expending or using more calories than you're consuming from food. Remember, calories are energy, so you must move your ass off the couch if you wanna see progress. I know, I get it. Stranger Things season two just came out. But you know what's stranger? Dying at 35 from a heart attack. Damn, that was gruesome. Let's get the obvious shit out of the way first. Exercise. Duh, just do it. You should be active every single day, whether you truly exercise that day or not. Here's a quick and easy structure of what I think your exercise for the week could look like. Sunday, cardio in the morning before the Redskins game. Monday, lift weights before or after work. Tuesday, lift weights before or after work. Wednesday, some cardio before you drink responsibly for Wine Wednesday. <laughs> lift weights before Thirsty Thursday. Friday, lift weights before you hit a Freaky Friday. <laughs> yeah, I made that up. I know, right? <laughs> it's sick. <sighs> Saturday, walk around the neighborhood because you're <laughs> too hungover for rigorous activity. Yo, and walk between bars at night to pick up some sick chicks. Not like they're sick, but like, you know, like they're hot. Yeah. Okay, let's get to the important part, the food. You should eat more non-starchy vegetables. That's pretty much everything except potatoes. I'm talking cucumbers. I'm talking tomatoes. Actually, I think this is technically a fruit. I'm talking celery. I'm talking onions. You can eat these raw or you can cook them. Whatever floats your boat. When you eat these with dressing, be careful because dressings are high in fat, which means that they're high in calories. Fats themselves aren't bad, but we're trying to keep our calories low. So instead of olive oil or honey mustard, which tend to be oil-based dressings, go for something that's a vinegar-based dressing like a balsamic vinaigrette. Granted, that balsamic vinaigrette will probably still have oil in it, but it's less than the other options, meaning that it's lower in calories. You could go for a low calorie version of that dressing, but just keep in mind, that doesn't mean they're healthier. They just replace the fat with more sugar to maintain the flavor. Trevor, shut up, dude. Dude, I'm not even close to finished. Okay, what's next then, idiot? <laughs> Glad you asked. Find a meal pattern and stick to it. When your body learns to expect when to eat, it'll get hungry at the right times rather than all the time. Your body is smart as fuck. So just go with the flow. Next, hide your snacks. I once counseled a guy who really liked to mindlessly eat snacks at night while he watched TV. So what I told him to do was take the snacks that he really liked at that time and to put them in a box so that he couldn't touch them after 7 p.m. And this really, really worked. On a side note, I told him to put a picture of my face on the box so that he would get intimidated if he wanted to eat them, but he didn't. I can't figure out why. And my final tip so you can go get fit as fuck and live your damn life as a happy, sexy person. It's actually my favorite tip. When you start to get hungry, wait 30 to 45 minutes before you actually eat. This will allow you to determine if you are actually hungry or you just have an appetite or you're eating because you're bored. Okay, that's all I have for you today. So go follow my social media to see how weird and cute I am. Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. If you like the content of this video or you think I'm cute as fuck, hit the thumbs up below. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and tell a friend who needs to see this, and I will love you for just a couple of years. Repeat that process for lifelong love. And thank you for watching. P.S. I love you.